My name is Dale Wolf. Um, I'm president in Nesbers uh, County um, Farm Bureau. Um, we farm here uh, in northern Idaho. Um, we are in Clearwater County um, right now, uh, where we're uh, on the east end of our farm. Um, we uh, we have dry land. This is all dry land farming here. Um, we raise uh, wheat. And, uh, Peas, wheat and legumes, uh, wheat, peas, lentils, um, canola. Um, we do uh, grass for seed and uh, Timothy hay, alfalfa, and we raise cattle. Uh, so we we have a lot going on. Dry land uh, farming is uh, a little more challenging than the. Uh, then if you have a have the pivots and the sprinklers um, you only get what God gives you so um, you got to be really timely with your seeding um, and your all your farm work um, it uh, if, the, if it dry you don't get enough rain you don't get you don't get the crop and uh, that's just kind of long short of it it's a, it's a can be kind of risky um, here we get you know, two to three feet of snow through the winter, and uh, you know it come it comes and goes, and and you know the the profile the the, so, the water profile in the soil um, it, it gets pretty pretty saturated, and so then you have to wait for it to dry out enough to. Uh, uh, get across in the spring for the ground to dry up too so that things will germinate and grow. Uh, growing season is a little shorter so it makes it a little bit more challenging to uh, you know, get good yields and, and the weather affects you a little more. Um, farther um, to the west of us where the rest of the farm is um, the soils are um, a little deeper You'd say they might be richer, I guess. But there's more black dirt before you get to the clay layer. Uh, holds a little more water, um, less clay uh, to uh, uh, work with, and uh, generally you get, a, get the yields are better down that way. The difference between the irrigation and dry land. Um, the, one, you don't have a water district or association or the state to um, mitigate the water use. Yeah, it's whatever God gives us. That that is not in not part of it. Um, it doesn't. You, you're not nearly as diverse or able to be as diverse in, in the crops that you grow because you just don't have the water. I'd really say the biggest obstacle is just weather and timing is the biggest obstacle. Um, there's just a very short period of when you know crops really need to be in the ground, and um, you know some years it can be 14 days. You know, a good two weeks you can have a decent weather and, and get the crop in early, and some years you know you got four or five days. And it's either going to rain all the time or and you're going to be parked or it's just not going to rain anymore and you're done and whatever moisture you have is what you have and uh, weather just seems to be kind of a little more uh, more of a key factor and so yeah I think that's probably one of the biggest obstacles I think we have is just weather. Some of our challenges are, um, you know, the with the, the technology that's that's come come along. Um, No-till farming is um, it, it, it is big, but it as a practice, we have to use some some tillage to make it to make things work. Um, our soils need to breathe a little bit so that uh, they don't get just too tight and run together. But, um, 
it's uh, just keeping up with the technology and um, it's things are just really expensive right now uh, as far as equipment is goes and uh, being able to grow and keep things and, and keep things together you know financially uh, so that we can operate efficiently To be a farmer to me, you know, um, really to be a steward of the land and take care of what God has given us to live and thrive off of, um, you know, and, and feed people and, you know, uh, it's becoming more of a challenge. I mean, there's not very many people, I'm only 28, there's not very many young farmers, you know, around there. Um, Every time I see the USDA statistics, I'm just shocked. I'm like, well, who's, who's going to come back and take care of all of this? And, you know, and neighbors always making comments that they want their kids just to leave and not do, not farm. It's just disheartening to me. But for me, it's just, I want to create a healthy product for people. And, um, you know, whether it's with our cattle or crops, you know, just a healthy abundant food source.